I always talk about message. A lot of people ask me, what the hell is this? Why do I need to have a message? Because I always say that if you don't have a message, I'm so sorry, you are not an artist. If you want to understand how to create your message, why it's so important, and how you can become a full-time artist only and just only if you have one, come with me. Hi, I'm Sira. I was born in an artistic family and as an agent, manager, and producer, I've worked for many years selling artists from all around the world. Today, I want to help you to become a full-time artist. Hello, artists. I am Sira, and I'm here to help you to become a full-time artist. And as I said before, you will only become a full-time artist if you have a message. But what is a message? To understand what is a message, I need to start with the beginning. An artist is a person who has a special skill. It's a person who can show something, and this something can be any type of artwork you can imagine. It can be a movie, can be a song, can be a painter, can be any type of artwork, and make another person feel something. So, the artist, actually, it's showing how other people can feel. For me, Art is the capability to create in another person an emotion with intention. It means that if I create something that when I show to someone specifically, I can create some sort of emotion that I was expecting, this is art. You are creating something that make people feel alive make people have emotions. And how powerful is this? Because emotions are what makes us completely different from any other animals in the world. If I go and I watch a movie and this movie make me cry, <laughs> <laughs> this is so powerful because the person who created the movie could create an emotion in myself even if we don't know each other even if I don't know who is the actors or who are uh, who is the director or who wrote the piece or anything like this the result inside myself was real and this real result, it's what makes me feel human. Every time that we are in a situation that is kind of sketchy, like for example, now that we are in pandemic, lots of people are not feeling so good. They have some problems with um, mental health, they have some problems with depression, they are anxious, they are problems of being on this social distance. So what we do? We try to feel something, to justify our lives. We go and watch a lot of series on Netflix. According to a 2016 survey, over 90% of millennials and 88% of those in the Gen Z category have engaged in binge watching a TV series. And according to Netflix, their users are streaming over 140 million hours worth of content a day. We go and listen all the songs from our favorite um, artists. We try to produce something for ourselves. We start to paint, we start to make sculptures. We connect with art when we need to connect with ourselves. And the artist is such a special person because the artist has this specific skill that is create an emotion in another person. When we understand that, we understand that actually the product that the artist sells, it's not an art piece, a song, a sculpture, it's not a movie but it's the emotion. And the more intense this emotion is on the audience, the better I can consider this artist. 
Because it's hard to make another person feel something. You need to not just communicate uh, an idea, but this idea needs to be so profound that comes with an emotion. Welcome to the performance world. First of all, let's explain what is the performance. So many artists, so many different explanations, but my explanation of performance is very simple. Performance is mental and physical construction that performer make in a specific time, in a space, in the front of audience, and then energy dialogue happen. The audience and the performer make the piece together. It's all about being there in the real time, and you can't rehearse performance because you can't do many of these times things twice ever. Which is very important. The performance is, you know, all the human beings are always afraid for very simple things. We are afraid of suffering. We are afraid of pain. We are afraid of mortality. So what I'm doing, I'm staging these kind of fears in the front of audience. I'm using your energy, and with this energy, I can go and push my body as far as I can, and then I liberate myself from these fears. And I'm your mirror. If I can do this for myself, you can do for you. I can communicate ideas that has no emotions. I can tell you that oh, yesterday I went to a barbecue. I'm communicating an idea, but there is no emotion into it. But if I start to talk to you and tell the story when I was a child and my dad came to me, told me a very special story before I go to bed and that I remember this story till now even after he passed away and every night I remember this story before I go to sleep. You see how much emotion has in this? I feel this emotion. And maybe you feel this emotion as well. So there are some ideas that there is no emotion attached. And there are others that has emotion attached. When you are an artist and you are communicating an emotion, more important than what technique you are using or what type of product you are doing is what people are feeling when they interact with your art. I want to show you the one who really changed my life. And this was the performance in MoMA, which just recently I made. This performance, when I said to the curator, I would just go to sit at the chair, and uh, there would be empty chair in the front, and anybody from the public can come and sit as long as they want. The curator said to me, that's ridiculous. You know, this is New York. This chair will be empty. Nobody have time to sit in the front of you. <laughs> But I see three months. And I sit every day eight hours at the opening of the museum. And 10 hours on Friday, when the museum is open, 10 hours, and I never move. And I remove the table, and I'm still sitting. And this changed everything. This performance, maybe 10 or 15 years ago, will nothing happen. But the need of people to actually experience something different. The public was not anymore the group. Relation was one-to-one. -one. I was watching these people, they would come and sit in front of me, but they have to wait for an hour, hours and hours to get to this position. And finally, they sit. And what happened? They are observed by other people, they are photographed, they are filmed by the camera, they are observed by me, and they are nowhere to escape except in themselves. And that makes the difference. There was so much pain and loneliness, there's so much incredible things when you look in somebody else's eyes, because in the gaze, without total stranger, that you never even say one word. Everything happened. And uh, I understood when I stood up from that chair after three months, I'm not the same anymore. And I understood that I have a very strong mission, that I have to communicate this experience to everybody. And that's why it's so important that you have a message. Because the message is what carry this emotion to your audience. If you create an art piece that has no message, there is no device that will carry this emotion with it. So imagine like that we have a car and inside the car we have the emotion. The car is your message. 
And when you are producing your artwork, you need to be sure that this car is represented in this artwork. So when someone interacts with your art, this car will carry the emotion that you actually want to give to your audience. Here, we have two things that we need to understand. The first one is, which is the emotion that you want to care? What is the emotion that you want your people to feel? You can have any type of emotion. We have rock and roll singers who have an idea that they want to feel young and free. And that's the emotion that they carry. And to carry this emotion, they put it inside a car that is a message that would be something like sex, drugs, and rock and roll. A message is a tangible way for you to carry something that is intangible, like an emotion. The first thing that you need to do to know what's your message is to understand yourself. You need to know who you are. You need to know why you make art. You need to know for whom you make art. You need to know how you imagine that your art can affect other people and how you can change the world with this emotion. You believe that people will feel better if you communicate love, for example. So maybe love is the emotion that you want to care and not feel free and young. But it's not enough that you know what's the emotion that you want to show. This emotion will be really connected with your identity, with who you are. But all of those things are feelings not exactly imaginary because you don't feel them on your mind but you feel them on your heart and when you understand this as much as you can you can translate it into words and when you put this into words now you have a message and this message needs to communicate exactly that feeling that you have in your heart. And when you show this message to other people, they also need to feel the same thing. And this is not easy, this is actually super hard because we are different and we have different backgrounds, interests, ideas, different values. If we are trying to communicate something, it's hard to be a hundred percent understood because when you have something that is intangible something that you feel there is no one no way for you to make another person to feel exactly what you're feeling i cannot touch your hand and you start to feel what i'm feeling like in avatar or some of those movies I need to explain what it is and when I explain you will understand inside your own parameters they are different from mine so it's easy to have a message that is misunderstood and if your message is misunderstood this message will fail on deliver the emotion that is our goal so how we create a perfect message first it needs to be connected with your inside and with one emotion and one emotion only. I know we are super complex and we have thousands of emotions and we are most passionate and we want to stand for several different things. But it's so hard to communicate something that if you try to put several things together, you will just make people confused. So choose one thing that you want to communicate. When you choose this one thing, put into words and try to make one sentence. You can write a book to explain how you feel about love, and lots of people do that. But as an artist, you need to have one single statement, one sentence that will translate this one 
emotion. When you put this into words, those words need to be simple. Don't try to be fancy with all these super holistic words. Use a simple vocabulary. And the task that I always say is read this to a six years old kid and see if this kid can understand. So try to be simple, focus in one thing, and after you have this message, make your whole work as an artist around this message. All your communication needs to communicate the same thing. How you dress, where you go, how your website is, what's the things that you say, how you say these things, what your artwork looks like, how you explain your artwork. All of those pieces need to converge to the same point, that is, your message. Because if they don't, your audience will be so confused that they will not understand you. And when you don't understand something, we just ignore it. And we don't want to be ignored, right? After you have this simple message that people can understand that you're repeating over and over and over again, try to understand how you can explore this message better. And this is where the magic happens. You will see that when you have this sort of limitations and you need to show the same emotion and tell the same message over and over again, you see how your creativity will bring to you new ideas, new insights, and how you will start to be more connected with this message. And the more you get connected with this message, the easier it will be for you to transmit it to other people. And the easier it will be for these people to understand you. And if they understand, they will connect with you building a relationship with you and being your buyers. This is how you create a sustainable career. It always starts with your message. So try to do this exercise. Look into a mirror. Try to understand yourself, who you are, what you want, how you want to change the world, what you want to communicate. And when you know that, put into simple words that you can repeat over and over and over again. I hope it helped you. Have a creative week. I need to tell you that I have a full masterclass for free. How can you take the leap and become the artist that you want to become? It's not a sales pitch. In this masterclass, I will help you with a real training that will give you the step by step. So if you want to check this, go here in this website and you watch a two hour class totally for free. So you can start to be a full time artist right now. Thank you so much for keeping making art.